Hey guys. So, what we're going to talk about today is how you beat Renekton. And the, uh, the short version is, he beats himself. Uh, yeah, he beats himself. And that's why I picked Nasus. Now, the, the story with Renekton is right now he's really strong because he has wave clear and he has sustain. You can't really force him out of lane short of camping because if you fight him one-on-one, -on -one, he'll probably beat you. And if he doesn't beat you, he'll just heal up using his Q and you won't be able to heal up as easily. His Q's up like every six seconds or so, so he can use it to heal and sustain even out of trades that he lost the first time. And that's why he's uh, really strong against uh, low wave clear tanks, which you might have wanted to choose. Tanks such as Shen, um, Nasus is I I don't know Nasus is pseudo wave pseudo low wave clear, but I actually like Nasus quite a bit. Now the trick to Renekton is you you can't let him play you. You have to play him. Because the only way you're going to beat him is if he outplays himself. So you have to make him want to outplay himself. He's going to want to outplay himself anyway. Because he's Renekton. He, he can't be beat. He's got a top lane. And that's how you do it. You have to make Renekton beat himself. Renekton players are cocky. They're not... They're not they don't think they're going to lose the lane. So they just... They play so forward or at least they do in silver I don't know how the story is uh, up in gold or plat or anything like that because obviously I'm not good enough to get there so I'm just gonna over the next few clips I'm just gonna show you how you handle Renekton first thing is uh, I, rec I recommend teleport and teleports just so you can always be in lane when he's in lane. You don't want to let him push you to tower and then like just get free whatever's. You know, he gets his items and he comes back stronger than you. No, you want to be in lane when he's in lane. If you let him get an item advantage, like if you let him push, leave, and then come back with items, and you don't come back with items, he's going to kill you. So first thing you want to do is bring teleport and when he pushes you want to wave clear. You want to clear everything out and then if you know he's recalling or if you're very uh, suspicious that he's wave, uh, he's uh, he's recalling, you want to recall. You want to like that's why you need teleport. So you always have so you can teleport back to lane if you need it mid lane like I did this game. But you also always want to recall when he recalls. You want to come back with the same number of items as he does. That's step one. Recall when he recalls. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. Renekton outplaying himself. Now, the jungler hasn't come top at all. It's been me and Renekton the whole game. And Renekton gets me low. So, he figures, oh, I can dive that and get away. So, you know, being the Renekton player he is, he goes for it. He ignites me first because he thinks the... Uh, the ignite will reduce my ultimate healing. It doesn't. For anyone that doesn't know, it doesn't reduce the ultimate healing because it's not a heal. He gets himself withered, and I ult myself to keep myself up because I knew he was going to dive. And he gives me a kill. Diving Nasus. Best of plans. Now, I recall here because I'm afraid that uh, their, mid, their jungler is going to come for me. I guess I didn't pay attention to mid, but all in all, it's a pretty good play. Now, just to show you how strong Nasus is against Renekton, Nasus is my number one pick against Renekton. You see, I just got him to about half health. Because I'm. At this point in the game, I'm saying I will play in your face. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die pretty soon here. Uh, I think the lead comes up and ganks me. And we can speed to that. But see, you if you make him play scared, 
you make him not play his champion and that's the idea you want to make him not play his champion you want him to play into your champion and I guess that's true of any matchup yeah I die here I remember this death I think I might take Renekton with me no I don't okay and then if you want to laugh I make a pretty big mistake here I run up as I attempt I ran up because I was trying to juke the skill shot but he gets me so yeah have a chuckle now here's something I do, and I don't claim to be a professional or anything, but whenever I want to uh, assert my dominance, or dominus in this case, I don't know, actually I don't think that's what his ultimate's called. That pun might have fell off. Fury of the Sands, okay, dominus is Renekton's ultimate. Whenever I want to assert my dominance, I will play in your face. I will try to make Renekton play scared, because if he plays scared, I'm gonna get the lane because then I get free farm try to be in his face and uh, I think I don't think he'll go for another dive here but I'll, I'll play this out just to see yeah he goes for another dive foolish 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 Renekton and bingo D outplays himself yet again gives me the blue buff so you know what that means whoa, whoa, whoa. okay lane phase is over by this point so I'm just gonna like recap we do win this game. Just want to say that before I forget. And I don't know, like I'm leaving the uh, replay running in the background just so you have something to watch while I talk. But yeah, if you want, if you want to win against Renekton or any top lane, but for Renekton in specific, you want them to play into your champ. You want to play a champ that you know can handle their champ under tower. Or with uh, under tower is probably the best bet for Renekton players. You want to play someone that you think you can bait them. Oh, here's my epic Baron stop. Um, you want to bait them into playing into your champion, and the best way to make them to bait them into playing against your champion is to play against their mentality. Renekton thinks Renekton players tend to think they can't be beat, so give that to them. Make them, make them play over aggressive. Make them make mistakes. It's, it's all about making the enemy play to you instead of uh, just beating you. You know, uh, I recommend Nasus against Renekton. I don't know if I said that, but Nasus has good wave clear, good scaling, and since the recent nerf, recent at the time of this video, to uh, Renekton's ultimate, Nasus has a stronger level 1 ult now. I believe that's the case. I'm pretty sure they gave Renekton uh, down to 100 health at level 1 with the Nasus is 150. Nasus is just a really good champion. I guess half this video is going to be like, Nasus, God, go for it. But Nasus is really good. You know, Renekton players will dive you. They think you want, like, Renekton players, they'll dive you for the kill and then try to get away. You want to play a champion that can handle that. Uh, I also play Shen, despite mentioning him at the beginning of the video that Shen can't really handle Renekton. Like, that's only half true. Shen can handle Renekton, but Shen's going to have a really rough time. Shen's going to get pushed in the tower, Renekton's going to roam. But I, I honestly think it's worth it just because Renekton, not Shen's ultimate is just so good that it's worth the pickup. Uh, Nasus is uh, also one of my favorites because tower diving Nasus is probably not the best idea you could have. He will wither you, he will spirit fire you, and and you will die to tower before you die to him. And then if you die to tower, Nasus gets free farm in top lane, unless you got him low, and then he had the recall. And I guess uh just mention this, if you're really low and you just don't see their jungler, their jungler might be coming to capitalize on your low health, so don't like stay in a lane just because you won the uh, won the fight. 
You're at 100 health. I'll just get these minions before I go to base. No, just just go back to base. Excuse me. So, the end of the day, all you had to do to beat Renekton, make him play to you, and pick someone he can't dive against. I I see that Renek not Renek I see that Trundle's also a strong pick against Renekton. Uh, I haven't played that because I'm used to playing tanks. Because I main jungle season one, season two, season I've main jungle like all of my game, and the jungle tanks have been strong for like ever. So yeah, here we are. We win. Renekton got beat too. GG.